Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at some news on Patch 23 and do a little bit of testing as well in regards to shotguns and bloody builds. I'm going to share my highlights that I find useful, and the link will be in the video description if you want to look for more details. Uh, we're going to take. Alright, so the first thing we're looking at is the legendary weapons, and uh, what this pretty much means is no more magic. Magic is gone. <laughs> Finally. Now we can get into building our builds in the normal and proper manner and uh, work it through. Although I still think there might be some issues with the shotgun, with some enemies, some enemies. I'll get into that once we get to the testing part at the very end of the video. If you want to jump there, use the timestamp. <clears throat> so it means that uh, the magic weapons are no more. I tested it out and it it is it is gone. <laughs> uh, then we're uh, also legendary. The instigating legendary attribute now correctly applies as damage uh, bonus additionally instead of uh, the multiplier. Well, I personally do not use instigating weapons. Never use them. Although I wanted to try it out with my upcoming rifle build. Uh, rifleman build but it looks like I'm not gonna do it uh, to what I understand now uh, the instigating first shot is not gonna be double uh, all of your damage It's gonna be double the base damage which makes this legendary effect uh, bad <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't trust my judgment here because I didn't have a lot of time to uh, investigate and uh, kind of test it out so I would like to point you out in a good direction which is Angry Turtle uh, it's another youtuber I'm pretty sure most of you already know him he is more of an expert in all these magic stuff all these calculations and uh, etc so just uh, YouTube search Angry Turtle and you will see uh, what he has to say about it uh, I'm actually gonna watch about that instigating stuff as well <laughs> Alright, what else is uh, of interest to me in this patch notes? Nerd Rage is the next one. To be honest, I didn't even know that that was a thing. <laughs> so basically, uh, now uh, Nerd Rage uh, correctly applies its damage bonus add and not multiply. I didn't know that was a thing, to be honest. But when I checked today, I lost about 20-25 damage, so it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Tenderizer, I'm not sure why this thing is even here. I thought it worked correctly, always. So, I don't know what that. Uh, but yeah, you can consider uh, Bloody got a little nerf here with that uh, Nerd Rage. Like, for example, my shotgun, my two-shot Goss shotgun used to do... Actually, let's take smaller numbers. My Vampire shotgun with limb damage and uh, defense while reloading used to do 200. That's without damage per cards, by the way. And now it does 180. Uh, so yeah, 20 damage. Lost. Not big of a deal. But once we get to testing, I, I do have a, sh a story to share. I was uh, I lost my chin over there. <laughs> it was bad. And but then when I got to super mutants, I'm like, <laughs> not that bad. By the way, shotguns got fixed as well. You don't see a lot of numbers right now. You can see just one number. <laughs> uh, and I think that also had an effect on damage de dealt. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. I don't know. Maybe it's just some monsters are broken. <laughs> okay, let's get on. The last point that I like personally is daily ops. That they, they up updated the information about the rewards list. So now we should see the XP and other good information such as like uh, instead of uh, none, you will see no more rare rewards rolls available. That means you can't get anything today. Uh, I want to see if that had an apply because I had sometimes three or even up to five days in a row when I would get nothing and that was not cool to be honest so to me these are like the most fixes that I was waiting for other ones I knew but they were not like super crucial oh the other one that uh, I'm like full HP builds will really love is uh, the endurance endurance got fixed there we go. Armor endurance bonuses uh, offered by the armor and under armor are now correctly grant plus 5 HP 
her point of entrance. I like to po point this one out as well because there was a lot of discussion on our Discord in regards to this fix. But anyway, uh, this is where we're going to be ending with the uh, patch notes review. What my highlights are, this link is going to be down in the video description with all the other useful links, so take a look at those. And uh, the testing I'll do a little bit later on within this video. So, still wasting time, jump into the Atomic Shop. Alright, so today in the featured list is a Robber's Halloween bundle with all these uh, stuff. To be honest, not that cool. And this junkyard paint, it's the same as the previous one, but it's free states. Ugh. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. But the rubber Halloween bundle looks kind of like, in addition to add all those, the only problem is, man, there's no camp budget, man. Like, you gotta make your camp so small in order to apply these little details. Like, I made myself a big camp. Let, let me just kind of sh quickly show you around, right? This is the wall, and you can see the ceiling, blah, blah, blah. A few vegetables over here, a uh, bed and stuff like that. So this time I decided to make, you know me, I, I usually have just a wall filled with stuff. So this is what I have. And my wall is smaller, and I can display a lot of stuff. Like, if you remember in my X camp, I would have like... I don't know about 20 weapon skins displayed now I have five and all this is because all the budget that this house has taken away from me so it's a problematic to be honest like I bought the decors for the old Halloween bundles I can't even apply them because I have room for five more that's it nothing so in order to make like decorations I need to scrap my entire camp and build something small and then I can apply different like stuff you know which sucks to be honest so the bundle I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it or just wait for a discount I don't know maybe maybe I will get it just for the light for these lights they look kinda cool and uh, this thing right here as well looks nice so uh, the outfit I, I don't understand the outfit maybe it's a uh, description is wrong or I don't know I guess if I when I buy it I'll understand because it says includes a robber outfit right under armor mask and hat all I see here is an outfit so how does the under armor looks like into my understanding this is not an outfit this is an under armor that's what I assume but I, I might be wrong but yeah really bad description and uh, as I said before Bethesda needs to change the way they describe uh, what is included with uh, the bundles and the atomic shop because we need to know what we are buying especially now that the earning atoms is a lot worse like we don't have our daily weeklies that reward us with atoms so we need a good detailed explanation so the robber costume cool here's the robber costume under armor what under armor I don't see no under armor is there one Under Armour? Or this is the Under Armour. So where the hell is the outfit? Catch my point? Uh, mask, obviously, that thing over there. The hat, that thing over there. Okay, cool. Jail wall kit. I like that, by the way. It's kind of cool. Uh, plasma ball set. Ah, uh, it's this one right here, I believe. That That is actually looking freaking nice. That's like numero uno selling point for me right now, to be honest. And if it really does shiny like during the night, I'm, I like making my cam shiny, so I'm not gonna uh, grab those. You know what? I might even gonna actually grab this and make a review uh, tomorrow. I'll think about this once again and uh, make a call. Then we got the uh, Halloween cutout set, so I believe this is this thing right here, and we got the Halloween bat lights. So, there we go. So. What? There is no exclusive in here? I guess no exclusive in this bundle. So it's 800, 500, so if you just buy these two, it's already the price of the bundle. These, like, I'm hyped about this and this. I don't know. Neither I'm gonna buy them just separately or. You know, the jail walls. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the entire bundle. So then we got the junkyard paint. Here we go. Nothing fancy. I don't know. I, I don't like it to be honest. 
Iron Cactus set. 40% discount. I'm not going to grab it. Alright, let's go to the next section. Alright, so Happy Halloween. Looks like there is nothing to view here. Uh, Scarlet Sniper Bundle already purchased that. Unfortunately, the patch notes again are late. Even myself, I'm recording this video late. So it's uh, 9.45 p.m. my time. The Atomic Shop reset it at 7 p.m. So it's been over almost actually three hours and the patch notes are still not on the website which is a shame because I actually wanted to also notify you what's going to be coming throughout the entire week but in any case I'll notify you of that uh, by doing a daily notification video let's go to the next section alright oh by the way I already made reviews for these bundles I'll link them down in the video description so if you're still considering of uh, buying them you can review the actual review video and make a call if you want to get those because those are coming without discounts unfortunately so I would think if you wouldn't buy it or not. Uh, then we got solid color paper set. That is cool. And why is there no discount? And I think I know why. Because this thing is selling good. I've seen a lot of cool camps, especially like modern camps, using this wallpaper with uh, double side doors. Although I don't know how to do it. I'm going to check it out how they do it and try to do it myself. But man. That, this looks nice. That looks nice. And yeah, and they're not giving a discount. Kokoroji, but <clears throat> Bethesda. Uh, the Mothman Cultist Bundle. Okay. I have a review for this bundle, so you might want to check it out. I'll link it as well under the video description. Classic Western Bundle. So over here you get the Cowboy Hat, the Western Duster. Uh, these guns over here which I already have by the way because I bought them on sale I didn't I forgot that they were included in one of the bundles I don't remember if I own the Western Duster but man uh -uh. not buying it okay sp spacesuit okay oh this is an old one 30% discount come on you can give it more blue flower mobile nah Fish lamp. Oh, fish lamp is actually cool. It's animated. The fish is actually swimming in that lamp. I'm not gonna grab this one as well. Who wel welcome home sign with a 50% discount. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fish lamp right now. Definitely. I'm gonna get this thing right here. I like it. With a 50% discount. Hell yeah. Kind of daddy. Uh, kill love love is also. I mean, I like it. <laughs> I hope it also comes with a 50% discount, as I said, uh, the patch notes are not available. Uh, weapons Workbench, boom. I have, I think it was Follow First, oh no, it's not Follow First, it was some, it was, uh, mm, I don't remember. I like that one, I'm not going to get any more skins because I'm not going to be building a whole bunch. Or maybe I'll, I am. Kokoroj <laughs> Bethesda, Skin, skins, display, display, display. Man, I'm gonna think about that one. <laughs> there, let's continue. Alright, the Enclave emerges. Enclave. I always mispronounce that. I think this time I pronounced it correctly. Uh, but it looks like nothing has changed over here. And I'm gonna wait for it to pop with the discount. Unfortunately, man. I love this door, but I'm gonna wait for it to pop with the discount. Yes, I am. Ta da! Okay. We got a free player icon. Oh. Man, we're gonna get loaded with these icons, man. And it gotta automatically assign. I hate this. You see? Now I'm automatically using this. That is so dumb. Especially also when you buy skins as well, it goes like poof, and man, this skin is automatically included for your nuclear winter. That is dumb. They should remove this auto, auto assign thing. What if I don't want this? I, I want to have it, but I don't uh, like. You know, you, you catch my point, right? Shadow Prime Power Armor skin with a 30% discount. Mm, well, for Power Armor users, this is a pretty good uh, Power Armor skin. Uh, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm, like I'm gonna buy power armors maybe if they like 50% and above. And although if I like, because I don't really use these power armors to be honest. 
Although, display cases. But, I heard the the upcoming update with these man vaults, our personal vaults, shelters. They will not allow us to use displays inside shelters. And that is so stupid. Because it gives a lot more budget and we can actually display stuff. And if that, we're not going to be able to do that, Bethesda, that is stupid. What do you want us to do there if we can't display our guns? Like, that's the main thing I was looking for. I'm like, oh, yeah, now it's like, I heard, like, twice the budget. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to display all these weapons. I'm going to display that. Are you going to give us this mod against the power armor stand and stands to display stuff? And then you said, oh, sorry, guys, but now within the shelters. Like, what? What if somebody wants to make, I don't know, a, a freaking Iron Man freaking, I don't know, power armor stand you know like he builds like them all around the wall there's just power armor skin power armor skin power armor skin but he won't be able to do it because you don't allow us to display anything there that is stupid please don't do that because nobody gonna buy those uh astroturf but quick warning here uh that's what i know for now that's how it is i hope and i'm pretty sure they already got the message that that's a dumb move so let's hope that's going to change. Astro Surf, this is a pretty cool one. <clears throat> Good to have, and I'm buying it with a 50% discount. I like it. Uh, the Plague Red. Also, a cool power armor. One of the four horse riders, those Death Knights or whatever they're called. I'm not going to get it with a, that 20% discount. Although one of these things is definitely a follow-up first exclusive. So if you don't see something from these three, that means it's, it's because it's follow-up first. Unfortunately, I don't know which one because Bethesda still did not provide the patch notes. Let me check if now, after three hours, they did. No, they did not. <laughs> Cockroach. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at the daily and the weekly challenges, but also I'd recommend you to run through these sections right here because sometimes the skins don't go on the uh, featured list and uh, it's not, we don't know what is there and what is not. Uh, the thing is, I own a lot of stuff and uh, I might not even know that something is up because I own it, it doesn't tell me that it's up for sale or something. So I'd recommend you to kind of scroll through that section over there and uh, take a look at oh, what? Boom. Challenges. So, dailies. Collect caps, 250. Easy. Uh, complete a daily operation. Easy. We all do that to get our, our rare rewards. I still didn't get a few things. Uh, complete an event. Straightforward. Gold star, do five, and this one will trigger straightforward. Level up one time. Easy. Nuclear winter, survive for 10 minutes. Also easy, but I don't play Nuclear Winter, plus I don't need the score anymore, because I rank 100. <laughs> uh, repair armor or weapon three times, easy, kill a cryptid, easy. Uh, for the new guys, I would recommend you to go and kill the Grafton monster, uh, neither in this area. He's going to be walking by this like sort of lake, but there's no water to be honest. You just jump there, he's usually hanging out there. Or the Charleston Captain uh, Capital Building, you just jump off the cliff, not that very high, you ain't gonna die, but a Grafton Monster is there. Or go all the way up here uh, at the Helmung Homes, there's a Grafton Monster and two Snallygasters, and they're all cryptid. So if you kill those guys, uh, those are the easiest, in my opinion, who to kill, so uh, you should get it done with no problemo. So let's take a look at the weekly ones. Alright, so for the weekly, we got the following. Climb a workshop five times. Easy. Complete daily operations five times. Also pretty easy. You just gotta do the daily operations. Uh, complete a gold star daily. Uh, if you're gonna do this one from the daily today, uh, this one will trigger and get auto-completed. So you will get uh, the score from here, 250 automatically and additional 1,500 score automatically. So that's a lot of score. Uh, complete an event 10 times, also easy, eat pre-war food, uh, candy, steaks, whatever you find, uh, Halloween candy at the Monster Mash event at Vitoga High School, all of that counts, so eat pre-war food, like dog food as well, uh, sugar bombs, and all that stuff, uh, even bubblegum if I'm not mistaken, but don't waste bubblegums because sometimes we get bubblegum challenges as well. 
Uh, but you can eat all that stuff and you get this completed. Uh, kill a huge creature. You have a list over here. Super uh, Medium Behemoth, uh, Deathclaw, Grafton Monster. I already showed you the location. Deathclaw uh, you can find at the uh, Deathclaw Island for lower players, right? So what else do we have here on the menu for the challenges? Oh, wait. Wrong one. Bam, 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 bam. Huge creatures. Mega Slot, Marlin Queen, Scorch Beast, Chief Squash, Colossus, Bendigo. Man, for lower players, all of this is going to be a pain. I would recommend if somebody drops a nuke, go there. <laughs> Shoot the Scorch Beasts, and uh, sometimes all, some of these guys pop out, so you get the chance to get this completed. So, and the Colossal Problem, go do that one as well with the team, and you'll get it done. So no problem. All right, kill a legendary enemy uh, ten times, level up three times, repeatable XP. That's how I got my rank 100. I was leveling up like crazy through uh, this repeatable challenge. If you want to know how, I did make a video on that uh, three weeks ago. So it's 40 minute long, but I explain everything in details. How the hell did I rank up so fast? Because I don't see point in buying seasons. So I just made myself a build that will help me to do the seasons fast. Done. And scrap pre-war money. Easy. How you do that? Easy. You go to uh, the Morgantown Airport. And over there there's going to be... You know what? Let me show you how to do it. Because, oh, these guys already triggered the event, I'm pretty sure. But there's this event. Five ways of scorch. You kill them. And you get... Uh, an airdrop and it gives exactly a hundred pre-war money <laughs> or radiation rumble by the way but this one is the quickest way so let me show you how to do that all right so how to get that a hundred pre-war money once you fast travel to the Morgantown airport you will end up in this location right here so what you need to do is run straight uh, just go over the fence and we need to go to those barracks over there yeah yeah those three buildings over there sort of look like barracks by the way you can see the shotgun oh this is my gosh shotgun let's take my vampire lady I'm actually curious does it still one shot the scorch to the torso no you see this is a uh, vampire limb damage uh, 200% but still I'm one shotting these guys so that's nice you see I'm gonna get into the testing part a little bit later on with the videos I've mentioned and we're going to do it with a lot uh, stronger enemies, but I really want to test out the scores. So you run into this area, and as you can see, this flare glowing right now and that bag over there, that means someone already did it. Uh, but once you run in this area, it will automatically trigger and will ask you to pop this thing. You pop this thing, and you, fi and you fight five waves of scores. Once you finish that off, a vertebrate will come here and drop that eight package for you, by the way. Uh, if you see one off the bat, you can pick up your pre-war money, <laughs> although you even didn't do it. Uh, I don't know why, but this is a thing, and I noticed this thing like a week ago. <laughs> Previously, it wouldn't work. So as you can see, bam, I got my thing done. So if you see that thing already here, uh, just pick it up. <laughs> It'll scrap the box right there. <laughs> Easy. All right, so for the daily ops uplink, today we've got the Valley Galleria with robots and camouflage. Personally, myself, I feel like camouflage is broken because uh, sometimes I had cases when the enemy is camouflaged even though it's shooting me. And uh, they, for a second, go visible mode and then invisible mode, like, like super fast. So you, you can barely vest these guys, so it's really bad. So melee, boom got him minigun or something heavy that you blast shotgun is definitely no no but now that's uh, even previously even before this patch it was terrible <laughs> uh, so I got myself a minigun now and now I can do this camouflage too but it's gonna spill a lot of ammo but it's doable because uh, I really love grinding out these daily ops but actually I'm not gonna not do it today I'm gonna be uh, leveling my mule because that's what I'm aiming four all right so that's pretty much it here and let's go and do a little bit of testing we're gonna start with uh, a mega sloth previously with my vampire shotgun uh, I'll show you the gun in a sec it took me four to five shots to take him out with no perk cards 
Alright, so you know my build. The only uh, benefits from attack I had is Nerd Rage, always, right? I never usually use any, uh, like, perks that would increase my uh, shotgun damage because it wasn't really needed. I was mainly one-shotting, two-shotting things. Uh, so I'm just gonna, like, explain uh, with each enemy because we're gonna go to Super Mutants. There's most of them I would one shot, and only the level 100 guy I will need to two shot. Sometimes even one shot if it's a critical. So yeah, and uh, things have changed. And I feel like that magic damage was doing double the damage, to be honest, based on uh, my feelings right now. So previously, with the exact same build, it would take me with my uh, vampire wifey, vampire queen, uh, this is it, limb damage, uh, damage resistance while reloading, and the... Uh, HP return, right? It would take me four, sometimes five shots to take out a level 100 behemoth. And we got a level 100 one. Sweet. So, now, what? I think this game is broken, man. <laughs> I just recently killed a behemoth with eight shots and now with <laughs> what? All right, how about my double pain wifey okay my double pain wifey surely does a better job well because it's a more powerful wifey but this game is literally broken and let me tell you the story All right, we're back online. So I have a feeling that the glowing creatures are broken. The thing is when I was coming out to give a test with my shotgun uh, before I even started recording this video because I had a meeting coming. Why is my damage back to 200? It's supposed to be 180. Did nerf, nerd rage change again? What? What is going on? I don't get it. I don't have any damage perks, do I? No, it's all gunner. Heavy guns. Ah, okay, someone's sharing bloody mess. Okay, now that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, the, what? <laughs> the, uh, Nerd Rage got fixed? So basically, the first enemy that I encountered was uh, a glowing level 100 angler, and it took me about 20 to 25 shots to take him out. Usually it took me like around three shots to take him out. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, but, but, uh, as you can see on other enemies, including super mutants, we're still good. And by the way, if you, if you notice, you see just one fixed number now. You don't see others like a pellet. So these guys usually would go down with one shot now they're going down with two shots so I believe I'm not quite sure uh, angry turtle is the expert in the magic weapons uh, I really didn't watch any videos on magic stuff because I didn't want to get even more annoyed with this game so I just was using what I was using it with so uh, I'm not sure how badly it was increasing the damage but now I can tell you it's been increasing it real bad I mean Previously, one shot. Now it's a two shot. In my personal understanding, that means uh, double damage. <laughs> so it was double damage. That's what it was. So uh, I was thinking, uh oh, <laughs> things are not good. So then there was a another behemoth, but I believe he was not glowing because there's also one appearing over here all the time he's defending the abandoned Borg town if no one has ever claimed it before and him I took out like with maybe like around eight shots okay it's glowing again we're gonna go to that other location and hope that that guy isn't gonna be glowing so yeah as we can see oh my god this is definitely no go it is real bad so 
this is why I decided to use for my secondary weapon a heavy gun. So, boom! Problem solved. <laughs> or maybe I should. I'm gonna try to work on my build a little bit to maximize more damage. We'll see how it is. But at the moment, uh, I was lucky enough to get this from Daily Ops, which is perfecto. The candy of all candies. 800 damage. Could go even higher than 800 once I put on some perks. Uh, about 900 if not more. And my minigun. Junkie minigun. So it's all good. Alright, let's go to that location I was talking about and hopefully there's going to be a not glowing behemoth. Let's see how, how many shots will it take to take him out. Plus, let's hope that there's going to be super mutants over there. If behemoth is there, super mutants will be there and you will see the difference. Alright, sweet. Another server, but this time uh, it's not level 100 uh, anglers. But let's see how much damage I'll deal to them. Wow. And that's me with... If, if it wasn't for criticals, man, during VATS, if I would just shoot him like that, as you can see, it's real bad. What if I do it with double pain, wifey? Double pain walking to the rescue! What up? Oh man, no behemoth this time. Some cockroach killed my behemoth. Yeah, you see, epic behemoth. He wasn't glowing, and this guy went down with like 8 or maybe 10 shots. I I'm gonna do a little bit more in depth uh, testing uh, throughout the day, and then I'm gonna make a video on uh, what are the differences and how I feel the differences are. But before, let's do our final test with some super mutants, uh, which we should be fine, I hope, in West Deck. Alright, so here we are. Here is West Deck. Let's go. So, uh, who do we see first? 75 usually goes with one shot for me with my uh, wifey. By the way, here's another interesting fact. My Gauss, even though it's stronger for some reason, Against mutants, it's not. <laughs> so against mutants, this two shot is bad. I think the resistance on the super mutants is way, way higher. I'll need to check out their stuff. But anyway, 60, you see? This guy would go down with one shot previously. It's bad. This guy would go down with one shot. So, actually, you know what? Come to think of it, if these guys w were to go down with one shot, these guys one shot, and now it's three shots. I would say then, uh, let me correct myself, and it was tripling our damage, the magic thing. But if I change my weapon to bloodied combat shotgun, bloody does more damage. Uh, damn it. So yeah, let's continue just a little bit uh, with these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to lower my HP. Damn it. And I don't have my other perk card turned on, so I have to do everything manually. There we go. So this is a bloodied one. Unfortunately, I gave my, my bloodied pump shotgun away. So, I won't be able to compare with the other one. But yeah, I mean, the shotguns are still OP, but you will need to start using those perks. So you see three shots required, but if for an example, I would put away this heavy gun thing. Okay, let's put that away, whatever. It don't matter right now. I'll do a little fix later and put at least a little bit of shotgun perks for the damage, right? My damage numbers have changed. Let's try out the vampire wifey. You see, double double pain wifey. Man, that's some crazy damage, but it's still not killing these cockroaches, man. It has like almost four four times the damage, and like it should do four times the, the, the damage, but it's not. <laughs> And by the way, the other thing I've noticed, they did not fix, they did not fix the VATS 
for the Goss weapons, unfortunately. So, boom. Okay, pump shotgun. Am I gonna try a, a pistola build or something else? I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so if I go with the uh, bloody damage, by the way, Paladin, thank you for giving me this gun. Real perfect timing with testings and everything. So you see, two shots. Oh, it wasn't a headshot. Oh, three star. Maybe I'm gonna get something good. So yeah, it does more damage than the vampire, obviously. Hey, give me good loot. Unyielding! Three star endurance! Why? <laughs> I'm not intelligent, cockroach. So here's a one, two, three. Yeah, with the bloodied, I just need three shots to take out a level 100 guy. With my pump vampire, it's more than three shots. So it's not that bad. So no panic mode. And on the side note, I am happy that the magic guns have been removed finally. Finally, we can get into some decent uh, building, like build builds, you know? None of that stuff. Because I don't like sneaking. I mean, I used to be a sneaky commando on PC before, but like, it was OP, okay? I got bored. <laughs> Questions is done. But yeah. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, in conclusion, I am happy with the uh, magic removals. Now we can do some real d decent builds, like properly, you know. I really hope there ain't gonna be n no more magic. <laughs> and uh, I hope more balancing to this game will come. So, because uh, as, as I said, and I used to say, and I keep saying, this game has a lot of potential, and I hope that that potential is gonna go into its fullest and make us players happy about this game because from all the games I played <laughs> this game for some reason I love and hate and I keep playing it even though I hate it sometimes so bad but I still play it because I don't know why man because <laughs> maybe because I'm always curious to find out what's gonna, what's gonna be the next patch <laughs> but anyway uh, in conclusion everything is good like uh, the atomic shop could be better but it's actually good, you know, it kind of uh, adds on to the theme of Halloween and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. So you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them. So if you got something negative or positive to say, you're always free to provide that feedback without swearing in my comments. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. And uh, if you want to join our community, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description to our Discord, where we talk about our builds, share screenshots, notify about queens, notify about different events and stuff like that. So it's going to be fun. Give it a try. If not, well, then not. <laughs> but if you get lost, uh, there is a tutorial for it. Everything is down in the video description. So once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the